Mantua is one of the oldest names in HO scale railroading. Their company dates back to 1926, and the company would produce, go on to produce models for 75 years, with their last year of production being in 2001. Mantua is probably most famous for their steam locomotives, so let's take a quick look at one of my personal favorites of theirs, the 442 Atlantic. The locomotive was first introduced in 1986 with the available road names of Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, Baltimore and Ohio, Canadian Pacific, Chicago and Northwestern, New York Central and Harlem River, Great Northern, Pennsylvania, Southern, and Southern Pacific. No Conrail this time, unfortunately. The locomotive came in two special variants of Pennsylvania Railroad's Lindbergh engine number 460, one as a standard release and one of their collectibles line with a die cast body and gold detail parts. The locomotive I have is the original release and closely based on a Pennsylvania prototype, the E7. The, one, the specific road number is the preserved E7, number 7002, which currently resides at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. One of the best parts about the Mantua Atlantic is no two seem to be alike. Number 7002 is no exception, and it has quite a few cosmetic differences from other Mantua Atlantics. Namely, its very unique box, high headlight, its dome placement, the inside frame rear truck, and its more modern tender design. The locomotive and tender body are all plastic, with quite a lot of molded in detail in the body molds and a couple separately applied plastic detail parts. The locomotive also has metal handrails on the boiler, smoke box, and as its coupler cup bars. The locomotive sports a heavy die cast chassis, making for some very impressive pulling power from this quite small locomotive. Seriously, this little guy can out pull a decent amount of my larger locomotives. Holy shit! The front and rear trucks on this locomotive are sprung, but the rear truck is not articulated. This is a feature unique to Pennsylvania Railroad number 7002, as no other version of the Mantua Atlantic has this inside frame fixed rear truck. It's such a commitment to detail, they went out of this, their way to do this for just one specific locomotive. I've own, also owned one of these with a articulated rear truck, and I can safely say it really has no effect on locomotive operation. The motor in this locomotive is quite large, taking up all the cast space, this is, but this is quite common practice in the 80s on smaller steam locomotives. This locomotive also has lights on both the front and rear, and uh, I've never seen one of these with a working bulb. The locomotive does have a unique setup for the front marker lights to light up, but I sadly cannot show that in this video as my bulb also does not work. Sorry, no real subversion this time around. No complaints in this operating department, really. It's a very smooth pulling and running locomotive. The Mantua Atlantic is a wonderful little locomotive from the 80s and 90s, but of course there really has to be a catch with this thing. It's quite pricey. The PRR variants can go for close to $200 on average, specifically 7002 as that seems to be one of the rarest of them all. Yikes. Other ones will go for somewhere between $125 to $150, and this really to, isn't much of a surprise because Atlantics and HO seem to be a fairly rare breed with the non-brass model being able to count it on both your hands. The Mantua model was the last American 442 made until Broadway Limited introduced their PRR E6 in 2022. It's safe to say we definitely won't be seeing a re-release of the Mantua one anytime soon as Lionel currently owns the tooling and seems to have more interest in their boomer ass millennial figure pack rather than re-releasing any of the legendary old mantua locomotives let's just cross our fingers and hope we see another atlantic in the future as they are have to be some of the most underrated locomotives of all time hey thanks for watching this whole youtube thing is kind of a cool new way for me to give thoughts on model stuff that is in slightly more long form content than my usual twitter shit posts if this is the sort of content style you guys like, let me know. If you like GP30 or Conrail memes or really hate yourself, follow my Twitter at Cobra Merciless. And if you want to support my dumbass financially, I have a Redbubble page at Casual Gearhead. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I hope you learned something. Or if you didn't, I hope you at least enjoyed it. MTE, signing out.